Good morning folks, or good afternoon should I say, and uh, thank you for joining me. We're back on the Itachi I'm afraid. Um, we're all done, but uh, the belt snapped, so we'll do, we'll put a new belt on. Uh, get this thing out. Unplug that, it's easier. There. Right, so basically the belt's basically the belt's gone on this, so what we need to do is get into get into here. Fuck's sake. here and put on a new belt there's one on here but it's it's actually uh, stretched it's not stretched sorry it's too tight it's not the right one so we'll see if we've got one fit screwdrivers out now Let's have a look. I don't know where the original went because it snapped, so see if we get this in a position I can fucking work on it. Which is a pain in the ass because Just turn it the other way like this so I can get into it. That's it. Turn it that way and I can get into the side here then and open it. Now we should actually, I need to find all the bits that go into here as well because the and it goes a bracket it goes onto there and you find that it should be up there in one of them pots so let's get this belt off uh, this is so let's find a new belt I don't know where the old one is so I can't even compare it which is a bit of a bummer Right, so what we need to do is have a look. Right. Reckon that one might do it. fucking belt on the bastard in thing. Get it fucking up and running. Are we this might be too big this belt. Up that onto there. Yep, too big. Oh for fuck's sake. You know, you can't fucking, you can't even get any, you can't even get any, let's have a look at these wires here, I'm going to have to snip the fuckers off, but not for a minute, right, let's get that one off, so that one doesn't fit. Too 
big. Too small. Too small. That might. So you can get this one in. See, I've not got the original belt. I don't know where it's gone. It's been a few weeks. Oh, hang on, it's here. It's here. There's the original. There's the original. Luckily, I threw the fucker inside here. Because it snapped clean in half. So, all I've got to do is compare the new one. To that and it's hard when it's in two pieces yeah I'd say that fucker will do it I'd like to be a lot I'd like it a bit thicker but you can't have everything can you you can't have everything We'll feed the belt through, there we go. Put on the motor. Feed it through there. I'd say that's about right. Get it on the pulley then. There we go. Yeah, I'd say that's right. So that's the belt done for that one. Make sure I don't lose any of these. Because I don't want to lose any belts, do we? That's the the old one. Put these ones in here as well because they're still good. I'm in there. I had to order some belts in the other day because I'm completely out of fucking belts for the sizes I need. Put that there. Yeah. That's, it's a shame really, but still. Now let's get the cup from up there, the container from up there. And we should have all our little bits in this. We're not in that one. Not in this are they? No. They're not on. They're all here. Right, so just empty this out for, for a second. Well, I'll find the two machine screws. Or one machine screw rather that goes in that. It'll be here. One machine screw. It's quite possibly it. Uh, actually, that's the one. It's a bit shorter. There we go. Right. Let's put the 
the bracket back on the side. Which goes in. Goes in that way. down there, that's it, it just drops into there, ah, ah, bloody hell, my fucking finger stuck, right, and this screwdriver, So it's straight. That has to be straight. There we go. It has to fucking locate into little fucking pins, little hooks. it right so that's the belt now the other issue this has got is with the play record switch but we'll just check the belt works first so we'll just check the mechanism actually works as it should and then we'll work on the record play switches Slide that back into where it belongs. There we go. Yeah. That's it, that's the that's back in. Right, take out a belt, didn't have to replace that. The take out a belt was okay. So we'll pop the take out a belt back on. It just shows you these things, you can get one job done and then another one pops up so you know you think you've got it sussed and all of a sudden something else can happen it's there we go that could do the spacer in there there was one oh no that's what I was saying right speakers We'll try this not fall out the minute I fucking tell you forward. Don't know which of the front or the fucking rear, I can't remember. Means looking on the back. Don't suppose it fucking matters. something there so it's good enough just puts a load on the amplifier
that one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get in. You just want to know why is that sticking out. That'll do. Doesn't matter if we don't get both speakers on, but I like them both to be on that way. I know there's a load on the amp, on either on both channels. But let's see what we get. Right, well, everything's level. All your power's off. Plug is in. Both speakers are on. It's the tape we're interested in. So let's get my tape that I use. That silly bit of rabbit in on it. That's the problem, you see. Right. Now. Press the record button a couple of times. With a sigh of there. satisfaction, Elaine Ralston closed the books. She could hardly believe how well her fashion boutique was doing. Well, it's playing at the right speed. Time too. Already the shop was beginning to attract the town's wealthiest citizens. But it was late, and tomorrow was Christmas Eve, and there was still so much to do. Right, let's put a tape in it with a full fucking screw on it and see. Make sure it rewinds all the way back and forward. Record, fast forward, eject, pause, that's rewind, the end one, I thought the end one was eject. Alright, let's stop that. Go for fast forward, make sure it fast forwards and rewinds in both directions. Fast like it should. The problem it's got is the playing record switch. Uh, it sometimes records distorted on one channel. Go for radio while we're that's AM. Don't know if it's medium wave or long wave. Long wave. That's medium wave. So what we'll do? Class. But we have found recently that parliamentary figures, our own sovereignty at home, 
has been compromised when Parliament oh, has oh, decided well. to, as it were, sign or ignore the real seat of power, and that's the voters. And in fact, in that sense, my comeback to Anne. And you'll see Harrington, what it does. What she's saying is it might work perfectly know, now. It doesn't. It doesn't. But the record switches are definitely what don't already. Anybody else thinks about Nigel Farage because he's not really the point. The the the, the historic turn has been that Nigel Farage happened to send up a party that gave a voice to that popular democratic sovereignty that was expressed around the referendum, which had been squeezed out by our own parliament. Um, Anna, right, the talk so at the so moment, we can this which we're more aware than everybody else, is of somehow stopping no deal through, um, or leaving without a deal rather, uh, through a government of national unity, uh, through bringing uh, the Prime Minister down with an early confidence vote. Where, where do you stand on these? What do you think is going to happen? Well, the first thing to say, of course, is that as a Member of Parliament who is subject to a vote every at least five years, and especially somebody who represents such a marginal seat, I can assure you... I mean... Give that a record button a press. There we are. <laughs> Sideline or ignore the real seat of power, and that's the voters. And in fact, in that sense, my comeback to us. Anna, in terms of what it's she's saying, it's recording lovely you know, now. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter what Anna or anybody else thinks about Nigel Farage, because he's not really the point. The the the, the historic turn has been that Nigel Farage happened to send up a party that gave a voice to that popular democratic sovereignty that was expressed around yeah, the that's referendum. That's when they put the aerial in. By our own parliament. Um, Anna. <laughs> The talk at the moment, though, I'm sure we're more aware than everybody else, is of somehow stopping no deal through, um, or, or leaving without a deal rather, uh, through a government of national unity, uh, through bringing uh, the Prime Minister down with an early confidence vote. Where, where do you stand on these? What do you think is going to happen? Well, the first thing to say, of course, is that as a Member of Parliament who is subject to a vote every at least five years. That's a bit slow because my deck is a bit slow, I think. So let's rewind that. That's the stop one, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So we'll turn it off. And what we'll do, we'll uh, pull the plug out for safety, as always. And what we'll do now, we'll give the record play switches another clean. And it won't do any fucking good, it hasn't done. But. We'll give another clean, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to take the fuckers off and do it. Which I don't want to do because it's a pain in the ass. But, I can't sell it like this. See if I can get into them. Yeah, you can get to them easy enough from the top. To them, it's just that so it all runs out of there, so some of it must be in the contacts. Right, some of it's got to be fucking it in the contacts, so I don't give a fuck. I just think the contacts might be badly worn to a point where they don't work anymore. So 
So what we'll do, we'll give that five minutes, I'll have a fang and come back. Right, well, we're back. Let's see if that switch cleaner did any good. If it didn't, then I'm going to have to uh, strip the record switches down. Um, to be honest, I don't fancy doing that. But still, let's put it on the radio. Right. My back's bearing up. And your legs? My legs? Dad, and my legs are okay. Apart from two blood clots. God, is that so surprising? Your wife dies, and half of you dies with her. You're lying beside her in the mortuary. You stagger out, sit in the sun, and practice breathing. You're doing fine. You're still half alive. Trouble is, your body's not so sure. Dad, Helen and I don't want you to conk out on a mountain. I'll have a mobile to call the... Um, yeah, when yeah. there's no reception. Look, I have no intention of conking out on a mountain. What about your little finger? What? Everything else about you seems to be packing up, so I, I thought I'd ask. Ha ha, very funny. Right, rewind. Play. Your wife dies, and half of you dies with her. You're lying beside her in the mortuary. You stagger out, sit in the sun, and practice breathing. You're doing fine. You're still half alive. Trouble is, your body is not so sure. Dad. Helen and I don't want you to conk out on a mountain. I'll have a mobile to call the... Um, yeah, when yeah. there's no reception. Look, I have no intention of conking out on a mountain. What about your little finger? What? Everything else about you seems to be packing up, so I... I... Sovereignty. There was ex... Oh, that seems to be okay. Let's try again. And there's a fox in... Be positive. Reasons for going up to the Highlands. One, age. 60. If I don't go now, I never will. Two, might make me feel better. Three, because you would tell me to go. At least I think you would. Or would you? If you were here, we'd be talking it through. The thing is, my dear, if you were still here, you'd probably be coming with me. Leading Republicans have expressed concern about the Iraq Note 3, of their August the 4th, driving north control. on a motorway somewhere. In the Syrian civil war, fighting around the besieged city of Aleppo. I hate long drives nowadays. Mind you, it was different when I was a boy. Driving up from London, squashed in the back with Claire, my sister, and Bacchus. Little... Okay. Stop for a break at Scotch Corner. Are we nearly in Scotland then? No, it's still in England, in Yorkshire. We'll be there in half an hour. Why is it called Scotch Corner if it's not? It just is. Stupid. Stupid. Mum, where are the Coolins? The Coolins are in Scotland. Coolins. Kill the cranky. Clean life. Do I have put some fucking wank on the radio nowadays? 
try that. I might have gone a bit too far forward, so back so. the beginning. Well, it's still not right that folks. One of the record switches working okay now. This other one isn't. It's just intermittent really. Scotland when you're in love. Nowhere better. Nowhere better. One thing I'd like to say here and now. I do not intend to spend this month in self-indulgent grief. I'll do some walking up in the mountains and, with luck, find some beautiful icy snowbeds. Is that all right? You have to ask yourself a question. Now the fucking thing's stopped. pressing the record button. I'm not with it today folks. Nowhere better. Nowhere better. One thing I'd like to say here and now, I do not intend to spend this month in self-indulgent grief. I'll do yeah, that's the problem. Record switch. Right. Do I really want to spend the time pulling the, pulling the record switches off the board to repair this fucking thing? The answer to that is I don't really know. I don't really want to spend the time. Well, you'll find snow up in the I'm not really interested in taking the record switches off the board. I don't think I'll be able to get that much back for this fucking thing when I sell it, so... I mean, I've got one on Facebook at the moment on Marketplace. It's been there for fucking weeks and it ain't fucking sold. So, to be honest with you folks, I don't think I'm going to go to the trouble of actually sorting the record switches out. Uh, I'm certainly, I certainly don't fancy going to the trouble of desoldering them. Because I've got to pull the circuit board off and everything. It's a big job. But, you know... These things happen. Yeah. Rewind. Press, press, press tape. Let's rewind it. Press play. So we get past this bit. I do not intend to spend this month in self-indulgent grief. I'll do some walking up in the mountains. That sounds perfect. Well, you'll find snow up in the cable gardens, I expect. <laughs> no, there's milk in the fridge and tea bags and sticky. What are you trying to do, French? I'm so anxious. I need to get walking. Note five. Text to Helen. Dear Helen, I've arrived. No cloud over the mountains, but no rain. The cottage is fine. The internet dodgy. Working on a camera tomorrow. Hope you're not too short of energy. Get as much sleep as you can. Love, Daddy. Dear Daddy, will do. Hope the sun breaks through. Take care of your foot. Love, Helen. Note six. August the 6th, 1935. Oh. The thing is, my dear, if you were still here, you'd probably be coming with me. Leading Republicans have expressed concern about the Iraq Note 3. Of August the 
Uh, I don't know whether I want to pull the record switches out and uh, go to that trouble, you know. I don't know whether I want to do that. Because is, is this thing really worth the fucking, the time and the effort, you know? I don't like giving up on something, but is it really worth the time and the effort? That's what I'm asking myself. It's a nice music centre, it really is. It's a lo lovely looking thing. I mean, it's in very good nick as well. I mean, cosmetically and whatnot, it's really nice. But the problem. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we'll do, for the benefit of all you people, let's See how easy it is to actually get this fucking thing apart. Now, where's that wire there go to? See, that's the problem, you see, you've got wires going all over the fucking place. I want that one there unplugged. I could do with that one not being there, really. Alright, so. I unplug these two off the board here. Yeah. Unplug them two off there. Right. Unplug that plug from there. See the problem is unplug this plug from here. Right, let's get me, let's get me phone, take some pictures because I'm going to start unplugging fucking wires and I don't want to fucking forget where anything goes. So, as a good reference folks, always take pictures. For fuck's sake, get off. We've got a red wire off here. Where the fuck's that come from? Oh, it's come from there. Come off there. Yeah, it's come off there. So. Make sure you take pictures so that when you put wires back on. You put them back on the right fucking way. I mean they, 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 they don't have to come, they don't even have to come off them. That fucking red can be pushed back on because it goes to that fucking plug. That didn't even have to come off. Right, that one there has to come off. 
then two there have to come off. None of these have to. Right. This black. That black doesn't have to, but that one does. So we've got two wires here, which got which are soldered down here. Where do they go? They go to the record light. But they can come out because the record light doesn't fucking work. So they, 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 that's not really a great issue. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and then it's basically just taking the board out really. See where the heads are wired on. And see if I can unplug the heads. I don't think I can. And the head wires are soldered on. Um, oh, pardon me. We've got this other plug here, which is a red wire going to there. So that needs to be a snapshot. A picture of that. I don't know where them wires go. Hmm. They don't go where I think they go. Oh yeah. There's uh, the white one there. Next to that blue. Then we've got a blue one. Which is there unplug that unplug that white because we know now right so that's them three get them out of the way got an orange one here don't know where the fuck that goes. But that's not a great issue. Right. That can be dealt with. See, I need to get the mechanism as free off as I can. Uh, I need to disconnect the motor as well. Uh, the motor is soldered on down there buried of course it would be wouldn't it but there again I could always undo the motor from here if I wanted and leave it on the shaft leave it on the board leave it actually wired up and put the belt back on later you could always do that that's not a great issue but uh, yeah we need to we've got these two wires here which is a yellow and white this wire here which comes off this wire here so I don't have to worry about that <coughs> we might have to desolder the head wires we'll see because oh well yeah right well we'll leave it there for the photographs for now so we'll leave the photographs there for now and what we'll do now we'll Find out where this fucking orange goes. You know, I don't even know where that goes. Comes into the main fucking thing here. Goes up here somewhere. Right. There to the record light. So let's just get the... Clippers. The record light doesn't work anyway, so that's no fucking asked, not too asked about that. So we'll just 
clip them. There we go. The motor. I've <coughs> got these two fucking wires here and all. It would be interesting to see where they're fucking going. They're going to here. What are they for though? Probably. They're going to... I can I can take the motor, I can unwire the motor. I can unscrew the motor, that's no problem. And leave the motor on the chassis on the I can just take the motor off, it saves on wiring it. Put that there. I can put the belt, I cannot I can put the, I can put the belt back on later, that's no problem. So I can undo the motor here. There we go, that gets the motor off. Get this washer here. Because I know for a fact what will happen, I'll lose the fucking, oh fuck it. Right. So now, this wire here is the one that's interested me. goes either into this plug here or it comes up here, there's a couple of wires. So what I'm going to do, because I've got some heat shrink, it fucking sorts that out, doesn't it? There we go. These two greens. There we go. Get them off. They, they, all they do is just go to that switch at the back. <coughs> Just these two now. There we go. That's the mechanism out of the way. That's see so yeah, I can work on it now. I'm not happy about it, but I can work on it. Uh what's this fucking wire here going to? Probably go into one of them fucking plugs on the front or something. Right. Don't know where the fuck that goes. Could be going to switches or anything. So I'll find out when I take the board out. Cause we can. I think we can. Uh, we've got these ones here photographed. Let's just un un unplug the fucking thing now, as much as I can. I don't, I don't want to take wires off, I don't have to. Mm. Get all the slot out of the fucking way. The red and an orange there. A lot of them just go to fucking sockets and buttons. I think the heads go to the heads go to here. So no, they don't desolder. But I think there'll be enough wire there. So let's get the screws out of the board. And we'll see about re re re, re, sort, re see if we can. Oh fuck, that screw's gone. Don't know. I'll find it after. Right, we'll see if we can sort out the record switches. Right, well I've got that out enough for me to work on it, which is good. And that there's an IC, so I don't want to go near that. We want to go near, this is a right mess, if someone's worked on this in the past, it's a right mess. This is a right mess, this board. So I've got to get this pin out. This pin's got to come out to separate the two switches. So we'll get the sucker, which we need. Uh, the soldering iron's on. I need the pliers. I 
and there should be a bob and a solder knocking about somewhere. They're throwing me. There's me bobbing a solder. There should be a bobbing a fucking solder somewhere. I mean, how can you miss a fucking big fucking bobbing a solder? It's on the bench somewhere. How can you not fucking spot a big bobbing of fucking solder? It's stupid, isn't it? The way the fucking human eye works. Right, let's get this pin out. You have to take this pin out of here without. Oops. I've not broken it, have I? No, I haven't broken it. Right, and put that pin there. It's got to go back in. That one feels really grungy. They don't, they don't, but none of them feel good to be honest. Alright, so here goes. Removing record switches. So we're going to start with how long are they? Fucking hell, they're so fucking done long. They're fucking that long. Solder the grounds first and plug me sucker up. And there we go. And I can clean all this as well and check for shorts and stuff because somebody's been here before me. That's that one. Then I'll do one. I'm only going to do one on camera to show you. you can see what I'm doing if you can't you should get a good idea I thought Jay's video was interesting the other night on that Ratty Albita Max. I gave him a CDI player as well. I'm looking forward to see what he can do with that. That came from the same place. Be interesting. Make sure we've got nothing in the middle. No, we're okay. See, buying parts for these old fucking things is fucking. I mean, at the very worst, if I scrap this fucking thing, I've got a Garrard SP25 out of the deal anyway. And all them transistors and fucking everything else that's in here. So I look at it that way. But don't really want to scrap it if I can help it because it's too nice, it's lovely. It works well as well apart from the cassette deck. So if I can salvage the record switch, it is. Then that'll be a bonus, that'll be alright, I'll be happy. If I do this one and I find this one's not too difficult, then 
I will do the other one anyway, probably, but we'll see. So I could do being cleaned. Yeah, it's getting a bit crunchy. fucking solder on these. Right, let's see if we can get the fucker off and not missed any other. Right. Find a desoldering tool. Leave it. There it is. And the tool to lift this record switch out. And in the open, don't damage it. That's where to start. Start at the end here. Oops. Don't want to damage any other components. We're oh, moving. Mm. We've got a bit of solder on the back of that one. That's the only problem. I can see through the fucking thing now. Bloody hell. Let me try, get round to there, still, still stuck on there. I thought we were free but we're not.
that. Three. Try that. They don't do damage to the switch, obviously. You know, this is going to do my head in, I think. Now, if I turn that, if I hold that like that, put pressure on there. fucking go, I mean it's oh there we are that's one side up there we are it's one side up there we go All the pins are loose anyway. Uh, where are we? They're all loose, so that should pop out. It's all loose. There we are. There you go. One record switch. They don't feel nice then. So what we'll do, we'll move the mechanism out of the way. Now, this is where it gets fucking difficult. Because this is where we Where we're going to try and take the fucking switch apart. I apologise if you can't see all of this, but unfortunately, it might be able to get it with the pliers actually. Yeah. And all you do is just bend the clips back a little bit. remember which way it goes in like this has a knobble on it there and the knobble goes towards this way so that is how we put it back together oops a bit of something on that one bit of glue or something oops basically if this basically if these record switches don't work when I put it back in I will not be happy and the one thing you don't want to do The one thing you don't want to do is force anything. I mean that's ready to come off that side but you've got to do the other side as well. Don't just do one side and think oh I can lift it out that way, you can't. And if you do you run the risk of damaging and bending things. So it's best to take your time, do the job properly, there's two ways of doing a job. I 
I mean, a lot of you are probably going to think, what the fucking hell is he wasting his time with that for? You know, I'm doing it because I want to do it and I love doing it and... I just think these old music centres are worth saving. Some of them anyway. And this one's in exceptional condition, so... There we go. Now we should be able to lift our record switch out we are separated but we're not going to be able to so we're going to get it by get, lift that board out just easily just gently lift the board out it comes out in two pieces either, either that comes out in two pieces or I snapped it but it doesn't matter because there's no connection in the middle there no it comes out in two pieces yeah, it comes out in two pieces. I didn't know that. And be careful, you've got little contacts on there. You don't want to lose them. So what we'll do, we'll do one at a time. So what we'll do, we'll pull the contacts off. You do not want to lose these contacts. If you lose these contacts, it's game over. And a lot of them are loose. And look at all the shit that's in that. All the oxidisation. Now, what I'm going to do with them contacts, I'm going to put them in white vinegar. Uh, so what we'll do first, we'll see if we can clean it uh, with a bit of IPA. Let's get the little tub that I put the IPA in, which has got a fucking couple of bits in. I'll throw them in there for now. Uh, let's get the IPA. We'll try and clean the oxidisation off. If we can't, then we'll put them. In, we'll throw the fucking in white vinegar. That'll do it. Get rid of the crap. Because I don't want to sand these. I don't want to use anything abrasive on them if I can avoid it. The reason for that is I don't want to take any metal off them or the finish off them that's on them. looks like they are full of shit hello Hi. I'm not bad are you Hello. yeah that's cleaning up lovely that actually folks I'm trying to keep it in shot of what I'm doing but it's difficult You know, look at the state of this. You can't really see it, but it's filthy. Because I'm going to metal polish them as well. This is just to clean the fucking crap off. Now let's have a look at these things. I'm not going to be able to do a lot with these. Because I don't want to bend them in any way. I'm not going to be able to do a lot with these. So we'll leave those. Uh, we'll just throw those in a bit of white vinegar or something. So I'll tell you what I could do. I could chuck them in the IPA. Leave them in the IPA for a few minutes. And maybe run a piece of paper through them or something. So let's get the other one off. Because we can give that, we'll give that a buff up. We'll get some brass or something on that. So let's get the other one out. <clears throat> right, you just, you just, you just... You 
You just oik it out like that, look. Just oik it out. Gently. Gently does it. You don't need any brute force and ignorance here. I know there is occasions where you do need brute force and ignorance, but not on this. And I'm doing these one at a time so that I make sure when I put the fucker in, I put it in the right way. And look at this, folks. Right, that one's actually broke. It's not completely broke, but it's broke. I bent the pin. How the fuck have I managed to bend the pin? I mean, it doesn't matter, but... What we'll do... What we'll do to reinforce that when we put it back together... See, that could have even been causing the fucking problem itself anyway. Because that is Ben. There we are. So what we'll do... crap in there what I'll do to reinforce that man you'll hold it in once it's oh, this is no fucking miver in me no Right, I said in! These are really dirty. I mean, you can spray deoxy in this all you want, you're never going to clean it. it. Has to come out. a lot better than what it was so we'll leave that there for now and I'm going to toddle off with the little them bits there actually folks they don't look too bad but I'm going to clean them uh, what I'm going to do next I'm going to toddle off I'm going to go and have a fag and uh, when I come back we should have everything spotlessly clean ready to go back in Hi uh, folks, uh, that's this record switch cleaned and back in, working much lovely now, this one's a bit stiff, so we'll get this one out now, uh, you don't need to see me do that, you just see me get one out, so we'll get this one out. Hi uh, folks, I've got this one apart and uh, the reason why I've come back on is because this one's got corrosion in it, it's actually got corrosion, it's green in some places got corrosion in it that's not nice so we'll do we we'll clean with the IPA and see what we can get out the other ones back in luckily the corrosion is not too bad it's just uh, it's cleaning up lovely yeah it's cleaning up lovely uh, this folks we're getting there. But really, because these parts are no longer available. This is all you can do with them. What I've done, I've dropped the actual contacts that run along these, the actual slider bits. I've dumped them in. 
Uh, oops, I've dumped them in the isopropyl. And what I'll do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to metal polish them with all as well. Well, the I'm not going to metal polish the contacts; they're too small to mess with. I'm going to metal polish the track that it all runs on, all this lot. I don't want to use anything abrasive on it, you see. Because they're thin enough as it is. But yeah, it's a bit of corrosion. So. I'll be having a look around there, see if there's any capacitors that have spilled their guts or anything around that region. Did you always get a fucking itch on your fucking arm or somewhere else when you're trying to clean something? Uh, well, it's looking better anyway, but it can be much cleaner. better so what I'll do now move the IPA for a minute and bring the brasso over got a bit of brasso here and a lid and the brasso lid so what we'll do we'll clean the whole thing with brasso give it a good polish Leave that one there for a minute. Let the brass hole do its job. Get another cotton bud, or if you're in America, a Q-tip. Just shows you've done it when you think you've got it sussed and you haven't, you have to revisit it. And you know me, folks, I won't send anything out that is faulty. Tell you what, it's a fucking lot better than what it was. But I reckon I can get it a bit better than that even. So the other one came up like fucking you and look a day old. See I don't want to take the surface off them you see because you start taking the surface, let's get the IPA and we'll clean off the metal polish. Squeaky clean folks. You know you've got it when you fucking squeak. Look at that, looks like fucking new. There's no scratches on it either. Because the one thing you don't want to do is put scratches on and you mustn't must never use sandpaper or anything on anything any of this sort of stuff because it thinens it. Of course it can be permissible in really extreme circumstances where there's corrosion. And even then, you just want to take the corrosion off and not the actual fucking coating that's on the actual 
pins on the connector itself. There we go. And that, that. Let me just zoom in and I'll show you. These actually come off in two halves, so, you know. Uh, they're made in two halves. So let's zoom in and I can show you how clean the pins are. That should do you. There we go. What's that side? Look at that. If we flip it, what's that side? And that's beautiful, that's how they should be. That's how it should be, folks. Perfect. So now we can put the what's left of the brass hole can go back in the brass hole tin. Not that there's much of it there. in the brass all back there, put that away. The IPA can stay out for a minute because it's still got bits in it. We've got a, them a bit of a stir around. I want to examine these actually, make sure there's no corrosion in them. Put me glasses back on. And I found the easiest way to reassemble these to pull this out and it can be and all you do is just to reassemble them just Slide them on. Oh, that was upside down. Slide them on, but try not to twist it as you slide it on. Slide them up. And then you can find the, the position of each one once they're all actually on in place. Get them on roughly. The thing is, you don't want to be oops. Okay, now. Don't want to be dropping any of them. You drop one of these, it's game over. It might as well be. So hold it over your bench. There we go. There's two more to go. Get that one to the edge. That one to there. One to there. That one to there. Get them as near as damn it as where they're going to be. There's two more to go. This should be on one because there's two of them in this so one two three four we've got four on this one so we're correct there we are and that 
I should. There we are. That's one side done. So what we'll do now, we'll just put that there while we put the contacts in. You can actually feel the contacts on that as well. Right. Just give this one a, another quick, just to make sure I've buffed it properly. If nothing comes off on the swab, then I've buffed it. Yes, it's correct. Put that back in there, continue to get dirty. <coughs> These little contacts, you can't really clean them because of that mind blood by minute. All you can do really is drop them in IPA. Whatever's in there should come off. You can't metal polish them or anything. So whatever's in there should actually just come off. always make sure oops make sure you don't twist them like I just did I've not opened it because you want them as close as together as they can possibly be because they're they are actually sort of sprung but they're very easily spread one slide it onto the there we are we sorted there right Turn this round because it's going to be fucking easier, I think. And it just goes together the way it came apart. Just do my jiggle. There we go. Whoops. That's it. Get our metal slider. And let's see which way. Because they go they do go a certain way and they've got to be the right way. So the knot has to whoops. The knot has to be at the top. Not just a bit at the top, so that's hmm. don't suppose it fucking matters, really. That's it. Now that just drops back into place. Hold it if you can. That's all fell out. That's no great problem because it will just, none of it's moved so it should just fall into place. That one's in. That one 
needs to come a bit further hmm we've got stuck needs to come a bit further towards me that's where it needs to be right at the edge there Down the bottom. That's what it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be that. That's where it needs to be. Now, just check that it moves freely. So we hold it like that. Press down about there. That's correct. correct then all we do we just turn the pins we just turn the pins back over Any pins you bend, straighten. Get them as straight back as possible. So you don't have the trouble of getting the fucking thing back in. You can't really use the fucking hammer on this. Just have to do it gently and slowly. And just bend them in slightly and then you should be able to get them to curl over just by pressing it there. to be fully curled over they weren't when they were in there but the tighter you get them I suppose the tighter the better it works I would think just bend them gently place you don't want to snap any off I mean you could probably get away with the odd one but can't use any like bang it, you can't bang them or anything. Got to use, hang on. Just get it in the grip and push it in. And start at the top of this one. I always find it best to start at the top.
will not be a bit of a nuisance. That's it. Ooh, my foot just clicked. Close them two up. You have to go a certain distance, but you have to go a certain way to be enclosed because you've got to get this thing back on the circuit board. So we do we get them all closed up first? And you don't want the, you don't want the board here to go under the metal here. You want it completely on. You want it completely flush all the way along. Bear that in mind. Careful with this last one. There we go. There we are. Perfect. And that is one refurbish, I'll just show you. That is one refurbish. You can go over your continuity meter if you want. And that is one refurbished Hitachi play record switch. I've managed to keep all the pins relatively straight, so. That should just go back in. I mean, it's the same either end, so it doesn't matter. But I just like to put things in the same way they come out. Although they're probably not put that way for a reason. You don't know, do you? You know, you don't know these things. So I'd rather just do it that way. And that way I know it's right. Right, so... Well, this should just drop straight in. It shouldn't have any fucking about because all the holes are clean. Make sure that everything's gone through. Make sure no pads are lifted. And guess what? No pads lifted. Still don't know where my other bobbin of solder is. It's fucking on here somewhere. Probably behind that lot there. Yeah, I found some in the drawer, so. And that's me cotton buds all over the floor. Pick them up in a minute. Solder the ground tabs back on. Oh yeah, they're lovely. All the pins are through. I mean, somebody had been at this before me because the joints were absolutely disgusting. I thought this was going to be a lot harder than what it actually is. That's why, to be honest, I didn't really want to do it. But I'm glad I have because it shows you a lot how to do it, doesn't it? Most of you probably know how to do it, but those of you that don't, 
which is you know the purpose of these videos isn't it to show you to show you how it's done so that you can do your own there we are visual am I, am I happy with it you can bet your sweet body I'm happy with it yeah that's good that it's a bit still a little bit tight that one still a bit tighter than that one but at least it ain't fucking dirty anymore we've got this little pin here I can't remember whether this ran we had that little pin. Where have you gone? There it is. Dropped on the ledge of the drawer. Sometimes it's worthwhile having the drawer open a little bit. I can't remember this whether this went through that way or that way, but I don't suppose it matters. Because it's, because it's gripped in the middle here by the mechanism. So what we do, we just turn that round like that. Make sure we're in. And then just give it a push. There we are. Still a bit tight that one, but there's nothing I can do about it. Now I can do about it. I mean, that's how it is. That's how it was, and it's. Still work. Give it, give it, give all your work a visual examination when you've done it. Just in case you've shorted two pins together, or you've removed the solder from one. 